Hi, I am Elle McNichol and I am the author of A Kind of Spark. You don't need to have heard of me or my book to do this class. This is an introduction video to something I'm really excited about. It's going to be a, a bunch of mini masterclasses teaching creative writing right here, free on YouTube. No sign up necessary, no, no, you know, no payment, nothing completely free. And I'm really excited to get started. And the only thing you will need to know, first of all, is that it'll be every Friday and every Monday, starting this Friday, which is the 8th of January. And we will be finishing our last session on the 1st of March. Hopefully, as you know, <laughs> unless anything drastic happens, we're going to be going from Friday, the 8th of January to March the 1st, so which is a Monday. So Mondays and Fridays will be our sessions. And oh, I'm just really excited to get started. This is for whether you are doing home learning or maybe you're at school or maybe you're in a writer's workshop. This is for anyone who wants to learn a little bit about what it's like to be an author and the kind of things that I use when I'm writing a book. Um, and it's probably good if you're about nine or older. So the only thing you're gonna need is access to these videos which I said would be up every Monday and Friday, and then a notebook. This is my notebook. Trust it, love it. Gets me where I need to go. Um, that's something I would recommend any up and coming writer is have your notebook always at the ready so you can jot down anything you need. So I'm just gonna do a quick introduction to what the sessions are gonna be about, so what you can expect. And all in all, there are gonna be a whole bunch of things that I have found really useful when I'm writing when I'm getting ready to start a new project, when I'm in the middle of a project. So I hope you'll come along with me and I hope that there'll be something useful for you. And I'll be setting tasks and assignments at the end of every session. They're completely optional, guys. They are not homework. They are not, you know, you don't have to do them. They're just things that I think will be really helpful in constructing that toolbox that you're going to need if you want to become an author or a writer. So week one, session number one, which will be this Friday, we're going to start with what I like to call Idea Factory. Idea Factory is really because I was getting, well I still do, get lots of questions from journalists and from people wanting to know about my, my book and my, my, my writing and they always say, where do your ideas come from? And, or what's the inspiration behind the book? And it's a really difficult question to answer. So I thought I would do a session about that because that's really where it all begins, the idea and the blank page. So let's start with that. So we're going to have Idea Factory, that's session number one, and that will be all about ideas and, and how we can get them down and how we can develop them into something that you can go, yes, I'm ready to write a story about this. <sighs> Sessions two and three are going to be next week, Monday and Friday, and they're going to be on my favourite thing, character. I love character. Character is my favourite thing. I can't be excited about a book that I'm writing until I'm excited about the character. So I gave character two sessions because it's very important. So we're doing two sessions on character and then after that we're going to be doing two sessions on plot. Plot is equally as important. It's really important no matter what kind of story you're writing. And plot is where we're going to learn how to plan, how to draft and how to execute the things that we came up with in Idea Factory and in character. And as I said, I'll be setting tasks at the end of these, completely optional, this is not homework. After that, we're going to move on to setting. Setting is another thing I love. Setting is like a whole other side of character, so that's going to be a great session too. And there's going to be some great other middle grade books we're going to talk about there too. So setting. Then we're going to do genre. What genre do you want your story to be in? Will it lend itself better to one genre or another? What about subgenres? Are you going to create a totally new genre? So that'll be a, a really exciting session. And again, other great middle grade books we can talk about there. After that, we're going to do um, narrative voice and point of view. Extremely important and not too dissimilar from character. How is this book going to read? What tools and techniques can you use to give yourself that kind of voice in a story, a voice that makes the reader go, ah oh yes, I'm in safe hands here. What Can you change perspectives? Tense, past tense, first person, third person. Does the story read differently if we try this? So narrative voice and point of view after that. Then we're going to move on to oh, dialogue, my favourite. I know I've said that three times now, but dialogue's great as well. And dialogue's really good fun. And um, I'm quite excited about dialogue. And so that's going to be following narrative voice and point of view. Your characters are all going to have to sound different, have different voices. How are we going to you know, come up with some great, exciting dialogue for your story? Then after that, we're going to do theme. Theme is a really interesting one because I don't tend to sit down and 
you know, when I'm about to write and go, these are the themes I want to explore. They tend to come up while you're writing, but we can talk about whether, you know, maybe you want to develop something before you start writing, or maybe you want to find ways of, of doing it organically, but that's what we'll talk about in theme. Then we're going to do my favorite again, editing. Editing is when we invite that judgmental voice to come in to the room and just have a look over what we've done. And we don't let it have too much control, but we, but we can work on the drafting process. And I think that's gonna be a really great session to talk about you know, how we can be critical without being hard on ourselves. And then we're gonna do, linking on from that, we're going to do writer's block and anxiety. Now, it's not as heavy as it sounds. I think it's just important to talk about how, you know, I'm on my second book is about to come out. I've been nominated for the Carnegie Medal. I've been nominated for the Books on My Bag Awards. I've been nominated for the Blue Peter Book Award, which is exciting. And I still get really bad anxiety. I still feel like I'm not good enough and that I struggle with things. And so we're gonna talk about how to combat writer's block, how to get through it, how to move past it, and how to ignore those kind of negative thoughts that sometimes tell us that we're not good enough because they're not worth listening to. So we're gonna do a session on that. Then we're gonna do a really fun session called Villain Antagonist, which is when we look at our story and who's gonna be the villain in our story or the antagonist. And we're gonna talk about the difference between the two. And that's gonna be really good fun because I think a really good villain or a really good antagonist is actually more important than a really good protagonist. So we're gonna talk about that. And then we're gonna do a session on the publishing process. Now, when I was younger, I started writing stories very seriously when I was about eight or nine, but I didn't know anything about the publishing process. I didn't know how, after you'd written your book on paper, I didn't know how it would become a book. That was all very mysterious to me. So we're gonna talk about that. And then I think I've done all my sessions. Let me just check my trusty notebook. Um, I don't want to skip one, but, um, so we'll do villain antagonist. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Very important. Imagination versus experience. Imagination versus experience. I want to talk about how, when you're writing a story, you don't have to write about your own life, but if you do, there are really safe and interesting ways of doing it without, you know, revealing anything that you maybe want to keep a little bit private. So it's going to be the balance of, of, of that. And then finally, we're going to have putting it all together. We are going to put every single thing, every task, every session, we're going to put it all together so that we have our writer's toolbox and we're going to say, right, I think I'm ready to write a book or a story or a play, whatever you want to write, we're going to get to that point and hopefully we'll have learned a lot. I probably will have learned more than you guys, but um, I just want to kind of communicate some of the tried and trusted methods that I've had now that I'm on my, you know, my third book and I want to impart that. And then also, um, if you look in the description box below the video, there is my Instagram, my Twitter, which I'm very active on, and the link to my website where there is a contact form. If you ever want to ask me any questions or you know, ask about work that you're doing or tell me about your writing workshops, anything at all, you can contact me through those means. But make sure that we get mum, dad, teacher, guardian permission first. Make sure an adult knows that you're doing it and is doing it with you. Make sure that they're you know, doing it along with you and we can have a conversation, we can have a dialogue about what you guys are getting up to in your, in your writing workshops. And like I said, I am really excited to get started. 15 minute videos twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. Let's go. So Idea Factory on Friday, let's start getting ideas ready so we can get going and I'll see you there. Thank you so much, guys.